Hello folks, it's me, Elite Craig. Um, I'm back again, at it, once again. I clearly, I just don't learn. Um, so I'm waiting for Dota to respond right now, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go through some of the basics of this game. Um, because I'm sick of people just not knowing. So I'm creating a video to try and... Dotino, Dota, Dota 2. Um, we start off with this screen. Okay, we open up this screen. It's usually not this flashy, but this is a battle pass. Don't need to worry about it if you're new to the game. Um, so, first things first, let's go through the tabs. We've got options menu for all your hotkeys, various different, you know, options and stuff that you might want to check. Um, your social stuff. Uh, your rendering, one of your graphic settings. Audio account. That's mostly just for ranked phone numbers and stuff. Um, we can go to this a bit later. Um, next, we have this button here, which if we click it, takes us back to the uh, takes us back to the home screen, which is the front page. Gives us our chat, our friends, our search button, all that shit. The search button stays on pretty much no matter what you do. So um, that's that. We'll go through some of the stuff and then we'll go on, on through the game mode and stuff. So, <clears throat> we got heroes, this is my custom preset, but this is what it actually will look like for you. Um, listing through all of the different shit, this is uh, these four that you can't see here are Anti-Mage, Arc Warden, Razor and Ariki. Split into three categories, uh, Strength, Agility and Intelligence based on the primary attribute. Um, basically, primary attribute just means that it's, just, it's the stuff that will probably gain the most, and it's the stuff that will provide the most benefit to you. So, strength heroes, they gain more health, they gain more damage from strength. Um, agility heroes, they gain more um, damage and more armor, <coughs> as well as attack speed and other things. Um, and intelligence gains mana regen and damage. Um, so, if strength heroes, most of their stuff comes from being able to fight for longer, um, or in more extended circumstances, being difficult to kill, things like that. Um, agility heroes, um, their strength comes from attack speed, damage, um, mobility, um, you know, various other things like that. It's, it, they, they can build items to modulate how much damage they deal. And then intelligence, um, most of these are support or mid carries, um, with some being in between. Um, one of the primary in betweens is like Void Spirit. But um, all of these characters, uh, they realistically play off their um, base damage like they, 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 they have as they level up they gain damage to their abilities and things like that and um, and they get their talents and stuff and that will be most of the time what you use to kill uh, they'll either be utility or damage so you've got like Dazzle's Poison versus Witch Doctor's Bouncing Cask it's just stuff like that um, Global Items this is this button here so this button here uh, lets you go through the list of all of them in alphabetical order. The global items, this is all of your cosmetic shit. Um, it's not really relevant. Um, these are your guides. Um, you can select a hero up here. Um, type them in. So you want to go Witch Doctor. And then it'll come up with all the guides for you. Really nice. And then trends is a plus thing. We're not going through it right now. Um, this is storefront. Um, treasury, featured, browse. It just lets you go to the shop. You'll figure out. <laughs> Watch. This is a useful feature. Um, we'll let you go through and uh, look at all of the most watched games at this moment in time. Um, so either the highest ranked games or the most watched games. It's one of the two. Um, useful for browsing through. If you see someone's game that you like, try to go for earlier games because you'll see more that way. Um, but it helps you understand like where people go, what people ward, how they build, like why they build. Um, tournaments, you can um, you can watch like all of the tournaments here. Either buy a ticket or just watch it. Um, I don't really use this that much, just because. Um, but there's a lot of money involved in Dota at the moment, <clears throat> especially coming up to the international. The international ten only has like thirty-five million dollars as a prize pool. Fun fact, that's only 25% of what they made on it. Um, so yeah, these are all amateur leagues and stuff. $50. Holy shit. Um, sorry, 
Right, so these are your replays. Um, friends matches, um, popular tournament matches, save to watch. Uh, you click on like this stuff and you can like, once while they've been downloaded, you can watch them. Um, really handy for like going over game footage and stuff like that. You'll get the option at the end of a game to download it or you'll be able to go through stats and download it that way. Um, downloads, this is where they all sit just the downloads. These are replays, save to watch later, and then these are downloads, which are different. Uh. Then we've got learn. So, the most useful feature of this is the items tab, but this is secondarily almost as useful. So this is a gameplay update. Let you switch through all the gameplay updates that have been happening recently. And it'll list you. All the shit all happens in, um, in item changes, then hero changes. And it'll tell you exactly what's changed. Um, compared to stuff so it'll say if you notice in the um I think it's this one here down here at the bottom of this it says spin web and then down at the bottom it says 7.27d uh, and it'll tell you what the what the real scale is, what the rescale is and what it was from so what they've changed from to um useful for picking up uh what heroes are good at the moment uh, and whether your hero has changed like your favorites um i am things these are big ones this is what changes the game like this stuff yeah random balance shit happens like once a month this stuff this stuff can change the game um so drum of endurance was nerfed good drum of endurance is too unilateral a pick um heaven talbid now has a 400 gold recipe cost as well good um soul ring the cost has been reduced good it's a good early game item for people who want to it's, it's like a very win loss um <coughs> Helm of the Dominator. I don't really use it. I don't really like domination or like creep based stuff unless I'm playing like Lycan. In which case I'll have specific means to do so, but usually it's just not interesting. So yeah, it's interesting to see what they do there and then you can look through your characters. Training! Um, this hasn't been updated in years. <laughs> it's nice that they've got it here, but they're supposed to have others um, that they just never fixed or worked on, um, which is fine. Um, but this basically you can boot into this and practice your last hitting in lane. It'll give you a score or whatever. You can just do it in a bot game. Um, <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, it's good for figuring out which characters you want to practice with and stuff like that. Um, tutorials. Uh, these are actually useful for starters in the game. Um, you should go through all of these realistically before you start because it gives you examples of... Um, this is basic combat and stuff. Strength hero, agility hero, intellect hero, and then it'll get you into a real match. Um, I'd get a friend to teach you this game. Uh, I wouldn't rely solely on trying to learn it because this, this screen here, is where you're going to trip up. <clears throat> so, oh, we've got a lot. A lot. This is all of your items here. Your basics, this is the first set of items that you'll probably come into contact with during a game. Then you've got upgrades, this is the stuff you want to be working towards. And then this stuff drops from neutral camps when you kill jungle creeps. And sometimes at a certain stage in the game. So it'll give you time limits here. So 7 minutes, 17, 27, 37, 60. This is when all of these items, like the times after which these items will drop. Um, and usually they'll drop pretty quickly depending on who you've got on your team. Anyway, um, so you've got all your consumables. Very important, f not just early game, but throughout the game. It's important that you keep your TP scores up. It's important that you keep your mana up. It's important that you keep your warding up. In terms of knowledge, it's important to make sure that you're uh, on par with your team. Um, a lot of these are just like prerequisites and stuff. And then you've got secret shop items. Uh, these are items that are bought at a separate, a separate shop um, from the home shop. And they are usually more powerful, more expensive require a huge investment like sacred relic requires like fucking 3800 or some shit um anyway you've got a boatload of things here to go through and depending on which character you play depends on which build you'll have um usually like you can wing it using guides early on um but it's recommended that you learn this pretty much back to front um <clears throat> so you've got all this and then you've got arcade this is custom games. This is just this is far fun shit. It's not really relevant, um, but it's good fun. Lots of people play um, 
some very interesting game modes on here. Um, there's a lot of TDs and stuff. Like, old school fucking World of Warcraft shit. It's fucking... Oh, sorry, not World of Warcraft. Warcraft 3 shit. It's really fucking fun. Um, okay. So, we'll just go through my profile quickly. So, we've got... You click on... This is how you access your profile. You click on my profile. Um, you come up with this. And this will be different for everyone. You can edit it down at the bottom. And um, it will change. So, I play a lot of support at the moment. Trying to win ranked. Because <laughs> no, one, no one picks support and actually plays it. Um, so you've got a bunch of stats here, a bunch of random shit, showcased heroes, oh, I look good. Um, you've got stats here, this is where your MMR comes up, this is where your um, your ability and like consequence of all your games uh, comes up. Uh, my win rate is questionable with a lot of heroes. Um, teammates, this will show you who you play the most with. Um, and sort of like, uh, how you do with them. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Nice. Um, so yeah, this is good for just looking at what your best records are. Um, this is practically irrelevant. I don't really use it, but you can click there to find out more about it. Um, this is your international pools. So all the way since 2013, I've had CI-10. I'm part of that, but that's where you can find that. Um, so... Uh, we'll quickly go through options that I recommend. Uh, enable quick cast always. Um, if you're playing MOBAs, you should probably have that enabled. Um, I've rebound this. Um, well, actually, this is default for me, but you can rebind this to whatever you want. If you're a League of Legends player, I wouldn't recommend fucking with this. I'd recommend just going straight to um, options, advanced options, um, or it might be in hotkeys, advanced hotkeys, <coughs> and then um, use. Uh, and then you can click reset hotkeys here. And it will let you choose a play system. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. Um, but uh, all my stuff set perfectly. Um, but you can do that and it will bind them to the closest possible analog. Which is really nice. Um, select your own hero. F1 should always be. Um... Select all control units. I wouldn't worry about this. It's rare that you're going to have to use this outside of like Meepo and stuff. Um, a should always be your attack move, force move. And then H should always be your hold position. Um, I like S as well. Stop. Um, you can put that. You can bind that as well. Um, select courier. <clears throat> this is a... This is a like really important shit. So you want to be able to press F2. And then W, which is a courier ability to go to secret shop. And then F1. And switch just quickly between them while sending your courier to secret shop and not interfering with your actual lane too much. You want to be able to do that. Advanced stuff, don't worry about it. Um, this stuff's all your preference, I don't care. Um, and then we go advanced hotkeys. Um, you could usually just control level abilities, which is fine. Um, you don't need any of this. Uh, cancel current action, stop, S. Um, uh, activate Glyph, J, useful to just have bound um, for the sake of like if your turret's getting pushed and you need to quickly react. Um, yeah. Um, the rest of this is literally up to you. Uh, quick cast on key down. Um, I'd recommend this uh, just because it's my preference. <laughs> Double tap ability to self cast. This is huge because um, it works. Because um, um, it works with all of your um, items as well and smart double tap big one you want to be able to alt click items and alt click your character abilities and cast them on yourself really quickly um, but that's just like mechanic shit it's fine options um, auto attack um, uh, I like standard although never is probably better um, I wouldn't bother with this double tap ability to self cast yes smart double tap yes uh, unified order with control. Yes, this is this is huge. If you've got control units, illusions, you want to be able to control click them around. Um, yeah, uh, teleport requires hold stop. You want to be able to tap S to cancel that, but nothing else. Um, yeah, this is all uh, this is all like preference stuff. I think um, edge pan definitely. If you play any fucking MOBA, that's the case. Camera speed just leave it on default. Doesn't matter. Um, I use simple minimap background, but you can use complex if you want. It's just a bit more flash. I think it looks better this way. Um, hold alt to toggle the hero icons. 
you definitely want to do this. So when you're looking around the map, you can hold alt and quickly see who's there. Once you get more of a hero knowledge, that'll become more relevant. Holding alt, um, this is all very useful. Um, I'd recommend just player names. You'll learn who the characters are eventually. Disable status text, I don't care about this. High damage numbers, this is not important. All of this is just... Um, it's just preference, really. Um, disable auto attack when stop is held. Yeah, you can hold S to stop the um, fucking thing. Quick cast and key down. This is all already seen. Auto repeat right mouse. This is big. I like this because it lets you could test runes easier and it will change your path really easy. So you can just right click and hold and it will constantly input the right click, um, which is really, really valuable in my opinion. Um, I have a, if you have network problems, this might help you. Um, I might actually disable this. Oh, actually, no, it's useful for letting you know when you've been stunned. Because um, sometimes, you know. Minimap misclick. Yeah, this is all, like, very, very specific stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this is all just basic shit. Social, this is like your social shit, video, this is your video shit, I don't care, like I'm not helping you with that. Um, this stuff like will tell you your open mic sort of recording levels and stuff like that. Um, it's useful for like making sure that you've got everything bound uh, correctly. Fucking sort out yourself. Um, this is for ranked, you'll be asked to put a phone number to your account to ranked. Do it, so you can play the game, and so you're not fucking spoofing accounts for no reason. Um, right. Welcome to the uh, the the menu. Sorry, this is a bit complicated. So we'll start with how it should look for everyone. So this is your play thing. Your find match button is there at the bottom. So you click play Dota and then you can click find match immediately or you can select from the options. So you've got battle cup. Don't need to worry about it. <laughs> It's for high level players to join together and try and compete in local sort of like pseudo tournaments for specific prizes that Valve offers. Um, Battle Gauntlet. Um, this is a, a very specific thing. Um, I'm in Southeast Asia technically. Um, you get prizes for doing this. I've never actually looked at it before. <laughs> custom lobbies, uh, playing custom games. Practice with bots. It's what it sounds like. Co-op, solo. You can play solo or whatever. I'd recommend just like creating a custom lobby and filling it with bots if you want to do it solo. Um, and no one plays co-op, so don't worry about it. Aghanim's Labyrinth. This is for the battle pass. Um, by the time this video comes out, I think the battle pass will probably be over. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Ranked. Um... Yeah, I don't, don't want to talk about it, okay? Um, <laughs> this will let you pick your ranked roles, classics, pick your lanes, all that stuff, set up and ranked. Don't play this unless you played like 500 games of normal plays, or you're excessively good at MOBAs. If you're not good at MOBAs, or you did, haven't played enough of this game, don't select this, because I will join your game, and I will ream you. You won't like it, I promise you. No one likes it when I do it. Um, so yeah, it'll ask you for an associated phone number to play ranked. You can remove it anytime. Um, unranked, we have all pick. Normal games for normal people. Turbos, fast games for mongolated people. Single draft, no one plays it. Random draft, no one plays it. All random, sometimes people play it. <laughs> Rare. Um, ability draft, everyone joins together. You select a hero. You select a set of abilities um, from the pool of heroes that you've picked from. And you create something brand new with new abilities and new um, new playstyles and stuff like that. It's really interesting. All random deathmatch. No one plays it. Don't worry about it. Um, select language. If you really, 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 really don't want to verse against... Um, oh, it automatically selects your primary language. If you want to just select a secondary language... You can. I wouldn't. Um, you can click here and select your server. There is no distinction in server base like on League of Legends. For some reason, there is a distinction 
for League of Legends in server bases. So OCU separate, NA separate, all this. They don't care about it here. You don't care. You have all of your things. I'm probably blocked from all of the China ones because I've said some really, really not cool things about Tiananmen Square. Um, <laughs> so you could pick um, where you want to go. Um, what sort of servers you want to go to. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything below 100 ping. Oh, I wouldn't recommend anything uh, over 100 ping. Uh, you can refresh the pings and do that. And you can automatically pick it. I just pick Australia. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck around with Southeast Asia. I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. All right. That's all that done. Um, so that's your main features. Your chats here. Your friends are here. Um, all of it you'll be able to figure out by right clicking enough. Right click, left click, right click, left click. Um, you can hover over people's ranks um, to see what the actual ranked system is. Um, anyone below divine is probably not very good at the game that includes me um yeah all, all of your new treasures and stuff will be here you can fuck around with chat settings and you know make friends or whatever but we're just gonna i'm just gonna go into a custom lobby and i'll show you uh i will show you some very basic things okay fill empty slots with bots are all unfair Listed the bong hole. Okay, cool. Sick. So we'll start the game. And we'll show you what happens when you pop into a game. This will happen for both all pick and rank. Um, so usually um, the way that all pick works is that two will pick on one team, two will pick on the other, and then it'll um, it'll show the picks. And then the same thing will happen again for two more, and then one more, and then it's done. Um, so you have your settings here. You can sort by custom attributes down here. I have my own custom attributes. The roll sort. Um, so I've sorted things into like uh, the categories that I like them in. Um, this is all like your variety. So intelligence, strength, and agility does not match up to carry support and like offlane utility versus mid lane. Um, so I'm just gonna lock in Templar Assassin, even though it's not a good pick here. Um, so you should come up with this screen here after you picked your hero, which is this one. Um, you should. Um, you should coordinate with your team to do this as well. Don't pick like multiple heroes. Um, you can click on the map here to strategize. Um, so y I can pause, thank God. But you could. This is Dota Plus shit. It'll tell you what the percentage matchups for you and other people are. Um, uh, you can. Your friends can click on the map to show where they want to go. Um, so you can click in jungle, top lane. This is a good way. Of this is how you call your lane in game. So you click on the map as early as you can, and then you don't worry about it. I like how the uh, the visibility on this is frozen. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so um, once you've done that, you can also use this to either choose where you want to place wards during strategy time, or you can put them on your uh, mid laner's face for a laugh. And it looks stupid. That's it. Um, you can also predict enemy lanes. Um, so you can just like choose where you think they're gonna go um, this is your recommended guides these are common items um, I'd recommend just like picking a decent guide so go to guides up here and then rivalry.com is like one of the best talk to Lena um, they do they do some of the best shit they have the highest rated guides they're all like professionals and stuff um, so that's really fucking cool. Your loadout, this is what your cosmetics are. Unlike League of Legends, you can just pick and choose and change whenever you like in this section here. And you can mix and match as well. So it doesn't have to be like uh don't have to be like one whole skin. You can like switch it up if you really want. Um Yeah, it's up to you. Um But you can do that. Guides here, you can see what they've all got, what they recommend, why some of them have explanations. Um, yeah, look, down at the bottom. Really useful for seeing why people pick the things that they do. Um, I know this character pretty well. Uh, you can look at your team here. The explanation point below each of their names indicates that they've been changed in the previous patch. Um, so, Chaos Knight's been buffed for some reason. I don't fucking know. You can choose your um, stuff here. Um, yeah basically just like have a look at the uh, 
Your estimations. All right. So I'm gonna resume here. The quest for ultimate glory. Um, so you can also do something in this chat usually where you can spin your hero. This is something that I like to do to waste time. We're gonna skip ahead. <laughs> so, when your game first starts, of the temple. you will be greeted with this screen. Welcome to the fountain. Okay, I paused it. You can press F9 to pause. It's actually dope. Um, and this is no one here to contest. It doesn't matter. So you've got. Um, it used to be that there was only one courier per team, or like you could buy multiple, but. Um, all of your couriers are here with the icons of your characters to who it belongs to. Couriers can die. People can kill them. It stops your transit from base to lane. Really annoying. F2. Remember how I said earlier that F2 is important to be bound to courier? F1 is character. F2 is courier. Notice how that W is go to secret shop. Like, it's got abilities just like you do. And you can auto hotkey it to tell it where to go. You can also control it manually. Like, give it uh, instructions with a right click. Wouldn't recommend it unless you try to dodge someone. Um, here, this, this here, this thing is the neutral stash. It's where your neutral items go. If you kill a creep and it drops one, and someone doesn't want it, you can right-click it, send to neutral stash, and it will go here. Then other people can take it as if it was a normal item um, and bring it to themselves. Uh, this is the uh, shop. This is where you buy all your basic items, all your upgrades, um, and all your recipes and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is Fountain. You regen health here. Um, it's basically the last pitch, uh, like defense before you know you're ancient or whatever. You have to sort of like try and prevent that. Um, so very much like other mobas, you've got this. These are tier three towers, and then you've got barracks. So instead of like inhibitors or phoenixes or whatever the fuck game shit or the game you play. Um, these are barracks, so if you click on them, it'll tell you what they are. If you notice down in the bottom here, it says melee racks, or these we call them racks, but they're barracks. Melee racks, range barracks. Um, depending on which one of these is destroyed, um, depends on whether that type of creep is empowered on the enemy scene. So if you've lost your melee racks, um, which are always the bottom one, by the way, your melee racks are always this one, and they will be always this one on the enemy team as well, always towards the bottom of the map. Anyway, if you lose this one, um, their melee creeps become much bigger. There's no respawn of the barracks. Barracks are gone, they're gone. Okay? Once you lose both, you're in a you're in a shit time of luck. If you lose all six, you're screwed. Mega creeps come out. Mega creeps are almost impossible to hold against. They are super tanky, they're like characters in their own right. You've got like thousands of health among them. Like it's just yeah, don't Try to avoid getting to a point where you think. Anyway, um, all these little buildings here—they're um, just—they're literally buildings. Um, they're just there to sort of slow shit down, and um, and stops it. The, these statues are the same. Um, they're all just here to slow down the enemy creeps. Um, they're just things for people to destroy before they reach your ancient towers. All right. So this. This right here, this stuff in, in here, where this is, this is all jungle. You've got safe lane. You can tell safe lane, right? Because safe lane is from here to here, right? For the ages. Whereas off lane is from here to here. It's smaller. Look, look at look at the look at the length. Look at the length of safe lane, alright? That's why it's called safe lane, because it's safer, versus the length of off lane much shorter whereas the enemies is like all the way through here whereas say that it's like here to here so um off lane has the worst jungle and has the harder time farming creeps because they've got more space to sort of like be safely ganked from mid and jungle okay you see i'm looking at the minimap map here um so um We'll go through the basics of like the start of a game. So you've got your tier ones, your tier twos. You can see look look at look at the bottom the bottom left. This is where the stats for the uh, the stats for the thing are. So this thing has an attack of 90. This has an attack of 172. I can't even click. I can't even select that. Um, oh no, I can. It's just it's the same as two. 172, 16. Um, and then finally, 
172, 21. So the armor levels for each one differ depending on how close you get in. So if you get in rushed, it's much harder to push further in, like early game. It kind of tries to level out the playing field a little bit. Okay, so we got jungle camps. He, uh, we have jungle. Oh, no. We have jungle camps here. 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 You can tell by the markings on the ground. Um, here. 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 Um, sorry. Here. 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 Um, and then the same is mirrored on the other side. Um, so, you've got all of these, um, you've got all of these, uh, uh, jungle camps, right? They're all different levels. I'll show you once we're in game. That's just jungle. Um, these things here, they represent ward spots. They're good spots to provide high coverage for wards. Um, very susceptible to dewarding. But, um, they do provide, like, good vision over the area. If you can get them and the enemy forgets or doesn't seem to notice, very valuable. Um, this is Roshan. Meet Roshan. He's our friend. Um, Roshan is a big fuck off golem dude who sits in um, who sits in this little pit, and basically, what first time you kill him, he drops the Aegis of Immortal, which grants you one time revive. It's like a guardian angel or something like that. One time, like on death revive with full HP, full mana. Second time he dies, he drops a refresher shard and um, cheese and. Oh, sorry, no, it'd just be um, Roshan's uh, fucking Aegis, then the Cheese. Then on the third death, it's Roshan's Aegis, uh, the Cheese. It's what we call a Refresher Shard, which when used, refreshes all abilities, including ultimates and other item abilities. Um, and then on the fourth time, he drops um, Aghanim's Blessings. If it's got to that point, the game's a bit of a joke. Anyway, um, so, the timer at the start, when it's the first time, the first as it goes down, um, it ticks down. So while it ticks down, um, it's sort of just like preparatory times. You're buying items, getting into position. But once once that spot, once that um, once that timer oh, stops, I so see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and start going towards it. So the bots are a bit retarded and they don't work properly, but they'll do for demonstrations, right? Anyway, so you use this time to sort of like go. Also, secret shops. This is where you buy upgrade items. See this secret shop thing? This is where you buy them, and then. Here for the dire side, always on uh, offline. Um, so that's the benefit of offline, I guess. Um, so but here point. and here, once this timer ticks down to zero, we'll spawn something called a bounty fire. rune, which is usually the first point of contest for the game. Um, they give like 110 gold to everyone on your team for each one that you get, um, which is a very, very powerful sort of like early game buff. Um, so I'm supposed to be mid lane, so I wouldn't normally contest these, um, but. Um, we gotta we gotta wait for the thirty seconds counting. or whatever. You just chill around, like analyze who's you know contesting with you. These are shrines, okay? They're not relevant until later. Um, but once you get a tier two, you can capture them, and every ten minutes they on the ten minute mark they gra they grant um, like uh, I think it's like three hundred fifty experience or something. And then uh, if you have two, they grant seven fifty. And then if you um, so the horns just sounded, and bounty rune spawn. So there should be one here as well. Watch this magic. I'll show you. That is clear. Woo! Yeah, these are the first one of contest. You want to collect them for the forty gold each or whatever. Um, depends on the time in the game, I guess that the wards give money. Um, so uh, once you've done this, laning phase begins. Okay. This is just literally about contesting whoever's in your fucking lane, um, and trying to make sure that you you know get farm. You want it. Th these are high ground spots. So like this here is like a. Um, a th so it's less likely that I can hit these. Revelation. Um. So fucking Templar is very oppressive. You knew to be not. Um, anyway, so you want to try and make sure that you're like getting the last hits and stuff. Um, you want to make sure that you're trying to like keep it on your side, and if that means slamming it to tower so that they can't, um, so that the wave resets or whatever, do that, and then go back and block your creep. So collision works in this game in a very unique way. 
in the um, if you stand in front of your creeps, they'll stop for a second. And if you tap S to to hold while you bring them down. As the temple okay, responds. that was really really rubbish of me. Um, yeah, basically it's just a game of like trying to fucking make sure that you win. Right, now let's get to like uh, into laning sort of shit. Um, so in lane you've got you you could buy items from. Uh, from here and then press this button here to deliver them to you and then your courier will walk out of base towards you and it will try and meet with you to drop your items off for you. Um, roaming top to gang. I don't know where um, Lion is. So you can alt click on characters portraits to uh, indicate that they're missing. Um, now I can afford boots which is dope. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap this so you've got a backpack. Sorry, I should go through the basic inventory. You get six inventory slots um, and three backpack slots. So just read it. Yeah, they're, they're inactive, but you can switch them out and, every, and it takes like six seconds or something. And then um, they're, uh, they're, you know, back in your inventory like this. And you can use it to just sort of like get different benefits from different items while not having to get the courier to sort of sit on everything for you. Um, It's a very sort of powerful technique. Uh, you can use it to mitigate stats as well later on. Uh, right, I'm going to hold this here. So you hold Alt, you can look at all the boundary lines of everything. So all the spawn boxes, they'll tell you when to stack things. Um, just in general, like a, a very, like holding Alt is really good attack. if you're unsure of things. Um, so I'm just following a guide right now, but I know this character pretty well. Um, and you just sort of like, you try to modulate. You can also deny creeps in this game. So if you wanna, if you wanna, you could uh, you can press A and click on a creep, and it um it, it has the potential that you can deny it below half health, and it will uh it will they the enemy won't get any gold, and they'll get reduced experience from it. Um, so it's pretty big for keeping your Keeping your enemies in the dirt, you know. So I don't know why it's doing the hex at the same time. That's really irritating. I can't do anything about that. Um, yeah. So each character has their pros and cons. Um, but yeah, you want your courier to bring sure out to you as you go. Try and avoid dying in lane. Um, you know, just in general, be a nuisance for your for your enemy. If you can. Um, so one of the things that one of the things that Phantom, uh, uh, sorry Templar Assassin does, is she can um, beam be behind the enemy. It's like her passive side blades. Pause and read. Pause and read. Um, so uh, so I'm using that to sort of like try and modulate my lane while using my um, fraction to prevent. Using my refraction to prevent any damage from being done to me. Um, so I'm going to bring this to me and get my uh, get my first wraith band. And I'll get my second wraith band. Closed. So, anyway. Uh, I start completing items and stuff like that. As time goes on, these runes will spawn every five minutes and every five minutes thereafter. Um, yeah, and basically the lanes are you get usually two save, two off. Um, the picks vary depending on what composition you're going for. Um, but yeah, some people jungle, some people, like, there's different things that people go for. Um, my current fucking stats are garbo because I'm not really paying that much attention. But yeah, you slowly want to sort of progress That's through the game requires. and eventually Roshan becomes an option. You could choose when to do it. You just want to make sure that, that you're cool. farming as much as you can, denying as much as you can. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, um, you're giving them as much grief as possible while also saving yourself. Ah, really so like, yeah, I can survive a lot of like bursty damage, but I can't survive like consistent damage. So like a Viper or something is a hard counter to me. 
And purely because my refraction shield doesn't block it off. So towers aren't that big of a threat in the end. It's usually rotations that'll kill you, not thingies. Oh, right, I should go some TP scrolls as well. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this, hold on. And then I'm gonna go back to base. Right, so I'm gonna walk back to base now just to demonstrate something. Um, so at the start of the game, you start with three TP scrolls. Um, the, uh, you can TP to pretty much any of your friendly buildings, um, including your shrine. You need to. So say I wanted to. So I'm back at base now. You can TP back to base as well. So you can TP. You can TP like here in the space of shop or fountain. Um, you can TP in the space of all these buildings. You can TP pretty much anywhere in here at the start of the game. Um, you can TP to bot lane. So notice that I clicked in the bot side of the game. It'll teleport me to the closest spot possible. So, stuff. Yeah, so you you wanna um you wanna make sure that you've got your TP scrolls on you. They have like a 60 your second or so 80 second cooldown. Um the, but they allow for quick rotation so you can engage in team fights and stuff, especially early game, pretty quickly. Um And then yeah, the rest of the game is just sort of like knowing. It's just knowing what you're doing. Um which takes time. Like play lanes like this. So you want to try and make sure that you're blocking creeps to your high ground, especially mid lane. So there's this section of high ground here, and as you shoot up high ground, you have like a mischance. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, but it's like a decent mischance. Um, so whenever you're attacking uphill, um, you risk, uh, you know, missing your attacks or whatever. Um, so you want to be careful, like make sure that you try to get your creeps on your side, towards your side, so you're less liable to be ganked by the supports in each lane. Also, as mid lane rotate to these camps, um, there's certain characters that can go to jungle and things like that. Um, but yeah, this is where you get neutral items from. Um, they sometimes just drop when you die. There we go. That's a neutral item. Oh, and keen optic too. Um, so mango tree is basically like, um, hold on, so I've got mine bound to M, so I can go up here, Interesting. let's see if it'll let me actually do it, oh it will, sit, so you can uh, pop that up there and it'll grant unobstructed vision for the time that it's alive, um, so it can be destroyed by, you know, um, like people sort of, um, cutting it down with quelling blade, um, yeah, there's a lot to this game that you'll sort of get to know as you go along. Um, salves get interrupted by character damage, um, so do clarities as mana pots. Um, tangos are your usual regen item in lane. Um, you can use them and then use them on a tree, and it'll devour the tree and then give you regen. Like to, win, to play this game, to be good at this game, okay? Just learn your items. Learn your fucking items. I might, like, that's it, just know the shot, back to front. If you know the shot, back to front, you will win. Like, like, so these are rooms here, they spawn here and here every two minutes. Uh, it's a random at either of the spots, you don't know which one. Um, and they grant you different buffs. So double damage, arcane, gives you cooldowns and mana. Um, illusions gives you a mana for illusions. Um, so like, illusion. Uh, I am give you like illusions to some characters that rely on illusions as well. That's a large majority of what you need to know. Um, just it depends on the character, really. Just to learn the character as it goes. Yeah, creeps like jungle creeps are spawn every minute. Um, you can pull them. As a support, in safe lane specifically, you will be asked to pull this camp. And what that basically means is when this timer goes to zero, you attack the creep and then pull it into lane. And it will pull the lane creeps into jungle, meaning that um, the enemy creeps crash into your tower. Um, you can also stack camps. Um, so, um, 
and the gaps is basically just like making sure that there are two sets of monsters instead of just one. I know it. So like there's one set in here now. Um, so this is a, that pull is literally like you have to cut down this tree here and then pull it into this lane here to pick up your creeps. So in 20 seconds, this is purely for demonstration purposes, you can bap this, pull these guys out, and then if you get them out of the spawn box in time, they should spawn a second creep. Unfortunately, because my attack range is so close, I underestimated it. Um, pulling creeps into camps and stuff if you can stack them as you're walking past do that keep an eye on the time always time super important in this I game um warding um so we'll pull out the two different kinds of wards um, so we've got wards um observer and sentry wards and if you swap them it'll be sentry and observer wards um so um, observer ones, yellow ones. They uh, they let you see unobstructed into an area, but they don't give true sight. If you want invisible, if you want sight for invisible units or like other wards, you want to place the blue ones down, the sentries, and they will give you in, in the area that it's listed here will give you invisibility vision. So they'll let you see invisible characters, invisible wards, like whatever, like traps. All that shit. The only thing that won't let you see is dust. Or oh, sorry, smoke. Smoke of deceit. The temple requires um, anyway, that's the basics of a game. This is your fortify. This is your scan. Scan. Uh, scan allows you to see if there are enemies in the area. It'll hover red if there are. So there was briefly there. Yeah, so there you go, and it'll make that sound. Um, fortify allows your towers and creeps to be, um, you know, fortified against damage for a few seconds, and the towers stay fortified for quite some time. Good for defending your positions if you need just a little bit extra time to get there or prep or do anything. Um, the different kinds of camps are listed on the map. I don't know if you can see them. Um, so you've got the two stack, uh, the the three bar camp, the one bar camp, the ancient camp, and then the two bar camp. Um, so these are all these are all different varieties of like camp strength, and they're useful for uh, different things. These are the ancient camps. These are the worst and most gold, but they're also the hardest to kill. Um, as you can see, they've got quite a bit of health. But um, I'm turning my fucking assassin bitch. Um, yeah, you can basically farm these for like a pretty decent amount of gold. Um, the chances of these these things dropping is just absolutely random. So. Yeah, I'll play this game through to completion real quick. And uh, I think we'll call this tutorial here. It's been just under an hour, so I'll try and cut this down. But let's see. I've just got a wave of creep. So this is called backdoor protection. Um. Basically, it stops towers from being taken, just with no creeps around. Um, it's basically like to try and help prevent people from just like picking clinks and pushing like fucking tier threes by ten minutes. Um, but when you've got creeps nearby, Literally, you've got a, uh, a teleport scroll on you. Um, because you don't want to be caught out without him. Uh, yeah. At this point, it's just, uh, it's just like leveling the talents and stuff. These are what you can get every 10, le uh, like at level 10, and then every 5 levels after. Um, and they basically just grant you like, uh, like you can choose between one or the other. So you get all of them. Um, and they get you get a choice every five levels after ten. Um. <laughs> 
See how the second tier now begins to attack all things. supporting tutorials, carrying tutorials, mid laning tutorials, um, and I'll just try and go through what actually makes a difference. So in this we have the scoreboard, you can use this to choose to see what time people got what. Um, you can also use scoreboard, uh, sorry graphs for that, and then go to uh, player items and it'll tell you exactly when people got things. Um, this will tell you what the net worth was, uh, what kills they got, this will tell you their GPM. Uh, this is a really important statistic. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant outside of GPM. Um, XPM, how much experience you got per minute, he, all, all of your like damage dealt, received, gold. This is what you, this is the true breakdown of all your statistics. You don't you, like don't fuck around with just like oh I got a good KDA I must be doing well because you could be 
you could do that and get do shit. Like it's it's not a big deal. Um, if you click on your character, it will tell you um, what your playstyles were like and how you did on average for the hero. Um, so that's useful for just getting like a broad overview, and you can do that for everyone else. Um, why was the bot difficulty passive? Whatever. Um, yeah. So you can uh, you can check all that stuff, all their items. Um, see what talents they went. Um, and then you've got Dota Plus breakdowns and stuff. And then MVP would be at the end. And I'll tell you what, who got the MVP. Um, yeah. That's pretty much post-game. If you want to access the game that you've just played, you click here, click here, and then click... Uh, I don't think it'll come up because I've got it disabled. There you go. Brightness matches, there we go. And you can bring it back up that way. Um, I'd recommend having those off. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that I can think of for now. Um, you got any questions, comments, make sure you hit, hit like, subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.